we're back. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Check out ding, my ding, ding, sunnies. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, they can see the camera. <clears throat> you can see the camera in her eyes. Please focus GH5. Let's take note of my good hair day. Check out this beautiful hair day. It doesn't day. happen often. Happens all the time. Don't believe that. It doesn't. We're back. Streaming freedom. I'm Matt. Molly. In case you haven't watched this before. But for those of you that wonder where the heck we've been, this video is for you. Just to kind of catch you up, recently we, for President's Day, went down to Bridge City. There's this little town with big bridges in southeast Texas. Texas. And near the Bridge City is the Gulf, and so for the day we took the kids to have some fun at the beach. And the beaches aren't really beautiful there, but fortunately our kids aren't beach snobs, so they had quite a bit of fun with some of our best friends in the world, and Lindsay and Jake and their kids, Aya, Cade, and Zoe. <laughs> So for our last video, we were in Florida. Well, we got to see one of the coolest things ever. It was a rocket launch at Cape Canaveral. This was really kind of spontaneous. We weren't expecting to do this, but we had some time and we thought, oh, that'd be awesome. And so we made a trip out to Cape Canaveral. But today, I'm gonna go watch a sh rocket ship take off. We were hoping that the astronaut we could eat lunch with was Howard Wallowitz. Unfortunately, not gonna be the case. pretty darn cool. Today has been a very, very much cooler day than I we'll thought. We'll show you the coolest scene on this camera. This camera. Alone. And now we'll show you the launch. Dun, dun. Three, two, one. Blast off. There it goes. Okay. There it goes. Falcon 9 rocket on its way in Marsat 5 satellite. So for our last video, we were in Florida. Uh, definitely still have a stowaway. Uh, we had a mouse problem, and so that was a little bit exciting. Um, we finally got the mouse. Well, we didn't really get the mouse problem resolved. They left. And then we found out what the mice had done. And as we were trying to drive out of Florida, we found out. Well, exciting morning. Got up early to go get the oil changed on the RV and ready to head across Florida and the bed won't go up. It might be because of these stinking mice. Freaking gonna get these mice. Fortunately, there was a camping world close by. So this is my visibility. This thing won't go up anymore, so I've got about that much space to drive away. 
They couldn't figure out what the problem was, so they just raised the bed up, and we were going to have to go back to Dallas and get it fixed. So after we got the bus fixed in Texas and got the bed working again, we made our way back to one of our favorite places ever. Estes Park. Colorado. Okay, I've got Tucker. All right, here we are. We're up in Estes Park on the horses. So uh, I grew up, my grandpa had some horses and we would go out to his place. My mom actually had a horse when she was a kid and we would, uh, We'd go out and ride at my grandpa's ranch sometimes. And every time we've been to Colorado and got some horses and rode. So it's always fun. Do you guys like riding horses? Do you have horses? Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about your horse riding experiences. Hey guys, uh, I couldn't help but record a video out here on this beautiful balcony out here in Estes Park. We got the family inside, still kind of loud in the background, but I mean, check this out. Just gorgeous view. Sun's kind of got a little bit more time left. What do you think about this place? Cool. Oh, we love Estes. In we're... fact, we were up there for two weeks and we were supposed to come down because I had to take a trip, a business trip, and we actually drove down the mountain and then what happened? I decided I didn't want to stay in the place in Fort Collins because it wasn't that pretty. Okay, so we uh, went down the hill from Estes oh Park gosh, and decided to, to go back up. And so we drove all the way back to Estes Park. <laughs> so we basically unhooked, drove down the mountain, and drove that, back up. That's how much he loves me. That's how much I love her and Estes Park. They're, they're kind of a toss up. So. So while in Estes, we rode some more slides. We stayed in a beautiful place outside of Rocky Mountain National Park. It was incredible. Ooh, what was that good sandwich deli place? Scr Scratch. Scratch. Scratch Deli in Estes Park. So good. Go there. Go there if you're in Estes Park. Oh, today we are leaving Estes Park and make our way over to Salt Lake City over the next little bit. So, oh, this is going to be so hard. Look how beautiful it is out here. I don't know if you can see that. The light may be too bad. Oh, man, it's just gorgeous. That's been our view out this front window. After Estes Park, we went back to Utah again for a massive Elmer family reunion. That's my side of the family, and when we say massive, it was huge. Lots of Elmers. So we are here in Altamont, Utah at the big Elmer family reunion. I think there's 98 Elmers here and that is not all of them. So yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. So a big part of the family reunion is these shirts and family pictures. One of the things we like to do at the Elmer Family Reunion is entertain the children with activities. Let's go! All right, go all corners out. What is the what is the objective right now? Write a family story. Write a family. Oh, you actually have to write one. Now it's time for the favorite event of the family reunion. We've been doing this for years. It's called the Money Dig. And Papa used to collect his coins from the end of the day. He put the coins in a jar. He had this jar of coins and this uh, plastic pool, and he poured the coins in the pool and then mixed them up, and that was the beginning of the Money Dig. <laughs> Smile. 
So there was tons of fun and tons of family, and we found it's a real blessing to have family around. And so that's why we've decided that we want to adopt you into our family. We've decided from now on, all of you, our viewers, are gonna become our Freedom family. Welcome to the Freedom family. That's what we found our life, our joy, and really what we're all about is chasing freedom. And so you're gonna see more of that in our upcoming videos. But it's starting to rain right now, so we're gonna to have to figure out how to keep shooting this from under the awning. Ah, so the reunion um, was a lot of fun. We got to stay in our bus this time, which made it even more fun. But when we were packing up to leave, uh, the bed wouldn't go up at all. It actually started to fall down. Yeah, so right as Molly was raising it, we heard this big boom and there was no solution. The only solution was to take the bed all the way off the frame. And run it down the middle of the bus. While we were driving. So we didn't even know if it would fit and we put the slide in. It was just enough room, thank goodness. So and luckily we had family there to help us. Yeah. That thing is super heavy. Thanks dad, Eric. I'm with the family reunion. And uh, there's our bed. It's usually up there but it wouldn't go up on one side. Something happened when it was going up, it popped, and so now we're gonna have to put it here, put it right down there. So we're trying to- Right here? Yes, yeah, smother it so that it's padded. Sorry about the rain in the background, but we're gonna keep shooting. So after that, we went back to Salt Lake. All right, so after getting the bed removed, which is right there, sitting there in between our seats, I'm now heading to an RV dealer here first thing in the morning, the next day. We'll see if this is gonna work out. A lot of times these guys want you to schedule two weeks out, so we'll see if they can get us in quick, get something figured out, so cross your fingers. We found an awesome dealership, Legacy RV Center, that got the bed fixed very quickly. Thank you so much, Legacy. Matt over there and the crew is awesome. That put us into a place where now we were ready to hit the road again to go see another amazing experience that was totally incredible up in Rexburg, Idaho. So we decided to trek up to Rexburg, Idaho to see the total solar eclipse and man, was it worth it. We found um, an ad on Craigslist and our awning. We gotta put the awning in. That's not good. And we're gonna have to go inside. This is, this is not going as planned. So we're back inside right now. Molly's still kicking the glasses. If you ever have the opportunity to see a total solar eclipse. There's, there's no way they're not gonna be able to hear you. The rain has foiled our plans. Yeah, you, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. This rain is too loud, so. So with the RV fixed, it was time to take a trip up north to Rexburg, Idaho. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, we talked about this already. No, we haven't. Not technically. Go for it. I thought we did. It was raining. Uh, well, the solar eclipse was awesome. So we went up to Rexburg and we saw the... Rexburg? <laughs> we saw it with my brother. And oh yeah, wife. that's right. Your brother. And there's the... That is commitment to a cool solar eclipse experience. <laughs> Here on the day of the eclipse, and Hi. and we're here with a bunch of family, and we got the camera set up. All right, this is this is our brilliant brother Brian, and I uh, got the kids out here playing some coop. They're getting coop set up. This is the, uh, Brian's son. What's up? I say hi to YouTube. Yeah, we got Tyler and Ben. What are you guys doing out here? Playing coop. Yeah, All right. The right side is a little fuzzy. So these guys are flying the drone. You can start to see the shadow there, but it is full on. Actually, if you look at it over here, you can see that's all that's left of it is that right there. Yeah. Look how crisp and defined my shadow is now.
There it is. planted the seed that now has them on the road themselves, traveling with a very small little trailer. Teardrop. Teardrop trailer, so fun for them. We've been convincing all sorts of people to live this life as crazy as it is. So once we are done with Rexburg, we were looking for something to do, but we needed to head back to Utah real quick for one last little fix on the bed. We were staying at the Salt Lake KOA, which we actually like. It's not in the best part of town, but the people are super nice there. And down the street was the actual Utah State Fair, which I thought was better than even the Texas State Fair. No, it's very small. It was small, but it had really cool rides that the kids loved. The Texas State Fair has cool rides, too. It's just a really big state fair. <laughs> okay. He doesn't like walking, and so I think that's why you don't like it. Yeah, it was all real close, compact. That's what I like. I like bigger. Had that spinny bigger, thing bigger that you is, lean against. Bigger is better. And now it's time to enjoy the great Utah State Fair. We need to prove our hillbillies right now. We're going to give you our bona fides by playing an old-time hillbilly song. And this is by a famous hillbilly. And I know you're saying to yourself, who's a famous hillbilly? This is a fellow that had hits in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and the 2000s. Yeah. He called himself Michael Jackson. <laughs> Man, it just gets tragicer and tragicer, doesn't it? She looked more like a beauty queen on the silver screen. Said I don't mind, but what do you mean? I'm the one who will dance on the floor in the run. She told me her name was Billie Jean. She calls the scene. Every head turned with eyes that dreamed of being the one who will dance on the floor in the round. She say, I am the one gonna dance on the floor in the round. People always tell me, be careful what you do. Don't go around playing young girls' hearts. Ooh, lucky always tells me, be careful who you love. Be careful what you do.
Also, another thing we love about Utah is that we got to hang out with my sister and her family and one of our relatives, technically my brother's wife's sister's fiance, is awesome at playing the guitar. In fact... And singing. Here we go. Hey, we have a special treat for you tonight. We're here with the world famous, <laughs> none other than if a world famous artist happens to be here at my sister's house, because she's pretty much world famous because she's been on our vlog and we have people all around the world that watch our vlog. So really, everybody here now is world famous. So welcome to be world famous. We're here with Dakota Stripling, one of the greatest artists of... <laughs> That's what I said, Just without, right? Without the G. Stripling. <laughs> Stripling? Okay. We're not here with Dakota Stripling. He died. No, he lived. He actually, all of the Stripling warriors lived. But this one, this is Stripling. Without the G. Like streaming. Without the G. Streaming freedom, Stripling. Gonna listen to some great music with him. So join, join us. A little intro music there. Look at that smile. <laughs> Ladies, you taken. Already taken. Should I start singing now? <laughs> I think you're in focus. Go for it. Okay. <clears throat> Last night was a trip I thought I saw you At the edge of my dream I swear I felt it And I saw you take a sip So what could I do With those eyes so green I guess I melted And I'm tired of listening to your lullaby Every word that you say makes me wanna cry So get out of my dreams, I don't wanna die I'm screaming out, I'm singing out When you're fighting your heart and you don't wanna lose You on your knees oh, Tell me what do I do when all I see is you Somebody help me please That was incredible, we'd actually like it to not be goodbye though Can you sing another one for us please? <laughs> 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 Hey, so how can they find you if they're looking for your stuff, man? Um, you can search Dakota Striplin on pretty much anything. <laughs> He's everywhere. You, exactly. YouTube, Spotify, iTunes. He's awesome. It was really fun to hang out with him. He actually, I think, was even on American Idol. Really cool guy. Yeah, Check out his channel. I'll try to link it below. And then we had plans to go up to a place that we can't wait to go to, which is Glacier National Forest. Is that National Monument? Glacier like National Park. Park. It was on fire. Uh, that forest was on fire, though. And so was Washington and like Oregon. Like the whole West Coast California. was on fire. It looked like, you know, Armageddon. We ended up deciding that we weren't going to go do our West Coast trip then. And we headed back to Dallas. No, we didn't. We just no, totally no. blanked out like a whole part of our journey. I did. Yeah. We went to Mount Rushmore. Yeah, and that was awesome. The Black Mountains, is that what they're called? In South Dakota, way more beautiful than you could ever imagine. I I was surprised. I, I was I mean, we love Colorado so much, I was blown away to think that there'd be anywhere else that I'd like as much. And Mount Rushmore was really cool. It's one of those things where you can see pictures of it all day long. But there's nothing like visiting it. In fact, here's some of the footage. Do you know how Mount Rushmore got its name? It was called many different things. Like there was Molly. no official name. But then a lawyer from New York else. came here. Um, I think he had business with a tin company. And he was asking his guide, what's the name of that mountain? And the guide said, I don't know. Let's just call it Mount Rushmore as a joke. And obviously it stuck. That's what my book said. So if that's the incorrect answer, it's not my fault. Yes, it is. Wait a minute. But we haven't read our whole book. If you're interested, people who have children, the series is called the What Was series. Um, and you find them on Amazon or at Barnes and Nobles. And so we, we started reading one called What Is Mount Rushmore. 
Mount Rushmore. And they're great for elementary aged kids. After Mount Rushmore, we headed to Detroit, Michigan. I had a little business meeting there. It was really short, just for like a couple of days. And then after that, we decided to head south because some things in my business meant that we needed to head back towards Dallas. So on the way, we decided to stop. In Missouri, more specifically Carthage, Missouri. And as you probably know, my business is in real estate. I've been doing that for a long time. And so there was a RV park that we had been talking about buying an RV park and my cousin was like, oh, well, you don't want to buy this one. It's we, empty. We yeah, I've been talking about buying an RV park. I don't remember that. Well, I, I didn't talk to her about it, <laughs> but I was talking to myself about it. Which he does a lot. So we, had, so we were looking for an RV park and we <laughs> thought we might found... We thought we might found... And so we thought maybe we found the perfect investment. This is not an update on the RV park. No. Just make this concise. Okay, cool, concise. So, with our trip in that area done, we decided to head south for the, the longest stay in Dallas ever. Yeah. Which is fun. We saw family and friends and cousins and everybody. Everybody. And, and we celebrated Ben's Nick, birthday, Nick's birthday, Nick, Nick's, Nick's birthday. birthday, which he was thrilled. Halloween. To celebrate it with. His cousins, and we did Thanksgiving and Christmas, and Molly even ran a half marathon. Yeah, I did. It was pretty awesome. That's her second marathon, and she's got another half. one coming up, half marathon, another one coming up that we'll tell you about in the future. So after being in Dallas for Four a months. few months, then we did, were able to go ahead and hit the road again. And so we headed back up to Missouri to make an offer on the RV park. With the decision making taking a little bit of time and the winter getting really cold, we decided that we didn't want to be in the cold anymore. So we headed back south, which put us back to where this video started. In Bridge City. So we're all caught up with where, where we've been. And now we invite you to go on the journey on where we're going. Will we buy the RV park? Where will we travel to next? Will Jack Coin actually accept our adoption invitation? What is possible on this crazy adventure? So subscribe and join in as we connect you, our freedom family, with our freedom adventures. Hopefully allowing you to experience a little more freedom in your life as we experience freedom in ours. It's a wrap. Rappity rap, rap, rap. All right, well, if you want to subscribe, like, share, comment, if you're bored and you got no one to talk to, we're here. Well, you can talk to us. Yeah. Not her, I mean, not her. She's going to bed, but I, I'm here listening. I don't know how much on this my bedtime. Yeah, so, okay. <laughs> See ya. Peace. Last night was a trip I thought I saw you At the edge of my dream I swear I felt it And I saw you take a sip So what could I do With those eyes so green I guess I melted And I'm tired of listening to your lullaby Every word that you say makes me wanna cry So get out of my dreams, I don't wanna die I'm screaming out, I'm singing out When you're fighting your heart and you don't wanna lose You're on your knees oh, Tell me what do I do when all I see is you Somebody help me please Cause when I love took it all and left you nothing more She's still here at night Try with all of my heart, but it still fell apart. Is this goodbye? Is this goodbye? Now you are my friend. 
Yeah, my lady And I don't see what's going on With my baby Cause you're the one My last kiss goodnight The pretty little one that I love so bad Now I'm thinking what's going on With my baby And I'm tired of listening to your lullaby Every word that you say makes me wanna cry So get out of my dreams, I don't wanna die I'm screaming now, singing out When you find in your heart and you don't wanna lose You're on your knees well, Tell me what do I do when all I see is you Somebody help me please Cause when I love to get all of the view Nothing more, you're still here at night I tried with all of my heart, but it still fell apart Is this goodbye? Is this goodbye? This is goodbye Oh yeah, nice